Hi everyone, and welcome back to Scratch. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make espresso gelato, a creamy and delicious dessert that's perfect for coffee lovers. To make this, we'll need five egg yolks, two and a half cups of whole milk, three quarter cups of heavy cream, three quarter cups of powdered sugar, and a quarter cup of instant espresso powder. The first step is to bring our two and a half cups of whole milk, three quarter cups of heavy cream, and quarter cup of espresso powder to a boil over medium high heat in a medium saucepan. We'll stir this occasionally to dissolve the espresso powder. Once it begins to boil, we'll reduce the heat to medium and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. About 35 minutes total. Meanwhile, we'll separate our five egg yolks from our eggs and whisk together our egg yolks and three quarter cups of powdered sugar until pale and fluffy. After simmering our milk mixture, we'll temper the egg yolks by slowly adding the hot mixture to our bowl, one tablespoon at a time, while whisking constantly. This will prevent the eggs from scrambling and create a smooth custard. Once we've added about one cup of our milk mixture, we can pour in the rest and whisk well. Then we'll return our custard to the saucepan and cook it over medium low heat, stirring constantly until it thickens and coats the back of a spoon. This will take about 25 minutes. Be careful not to overcook or boil the custard or it will curdle. When it's done, we'll remove it from the heat, cover it in plastic wrap, and put it in the fridge for at least four hours. After chilling, it's time to churn our gelato. We'll pour the custard into an ice cream maker and allow it to churn until it reaches a soft serve consistency, about 20 minutes. Finally, we'll transfer our gelato to a freezer safe container and allow it to freeze for at least four hours. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next week.